are Jews supposed to be fat? And the question, I guess, is like this. Um, that goes back to the latkes and donuts question. A lot, a lot of questions there. Um, basically, you know, the non-Jews, they have Thanksgiving and they have the holiday and they make a big festive meal and you hear on the radio and everyone tips how to not overeat. And to, we have three meals every, every Shabbat, which comes out to be, uh, you know, 150 meals. You have uh, Sukkot, has another 25 meals, and then you have, you have Pesach, another 25 meals, and then you have, uh, each one's a festive meal. Then you have Hanukkah, where you're stuffing donuts and latkes and oil, and, 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 uh, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, he was a lot funnier than this. But, uh, and, then, and then, how do we stay healthy? How do we stay fit? How do we stay, uh, I mean, uh, where, where do we go with this? Okay, the question is, with the Jewish diet, how in heaven's name is a person supposed to stay healthy? Well, it's not so funny because Jews from Europe used to want to be fed because there were a lot of times that they didn't have any food and they used to feel that by being fed they have something to, to draw on. I know people from Europe told me that, that they used to be overweight, not too much, but they wanted to have some extra reserves in their body because wars that went on, wars were, uh, broke out all the time, and, and uh, anti-Semitism, which they could make a living. And they had a lot of times they, they were hungry and they wanted to have some extra uh, fat on themselves in order to keep themselves alive and healthy. Okay, Baruch Hashem, we don't have that type of thing today in this country at least. Maybe some of the third world countries they have that problem. People dying from starvation there every day. But uh, I really, uh, a, a, a person, it's all in... Uh, uh, a, a person, a discipline, self-discipline. Person, uh, I, I don't see why, why the Jewish people or by the non-Jewish people, they have, uh, they, they have the restaurants and they have uh, all kinds of uh, 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 billboards advertise all kinds of food and uh, the media is all kinds of food. So uh, it's, I don't think you have it more Jewish people than the non-Jewish people, but whoever we're talking about, it's all a matter of self-discipline. A person cannot say, I know people say, well, Shabbos is no, they have to be on a diet. But now Shabbos is no diet. And that's ridiculous. That's the Yitzhahara talking. As a Shabbos person, you have to have pleasure, eat good food on Shabbos, but it has to be tempered, it has to be self-disciplined, and not overeat, and not go against diets, and not uh, to be unhealthy. Shabbos is not to be unhealthy, but it should be good food with... Uh, Keeping in mind, keeping down calories and, and being healthy. So you can eat, you can filter fish, you can eat chicken soup, you get kugel, you get chicken, you get dachmaji. Don't eat too much. Just eat as much as you, as as, uh, as health will uh, permit. So it's self discipline. You can't just yourself go. Shabbos, it's okay. It's a mitzvah. Shabbos to have pleasure in Shabbos. That's not not true. It's a mitzvah to have pleasure, but not to overdo it. Who can I call?